guys, and welcome to another episode of Backyard Scientist. And today I got some new equipment. Alright, here we go. Can you tell what it is yet? You know already what it is. It's a sock sled extractor. See, I picked this up on eBay. It was pretty cheap. It was a good deal. And it came with a flask, an extractor body, and a nice condenser. Today I'm going to show you how to do the sunset extraction of some jalapenos. Try to extract capsaicin oil out of it. I tried to get some habaneros, but all we had was four at the grocery store, so I just ended up getting six jalapenos. And they were pretty spicy. These are some hot jalapenos. And believe me, it ended up showing through in the final product. By the way, if anybody has any ideas for anything for me to throw on that extractor, please let me know in the comments, and I will do it. What I'm trying to do is chop them up the most to get them in the most surface area to dry out the food to have dehydrated the fastest. Boom, 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 throw them in there. Definitely want to save those seeds. Those are important. They contain the most capsaicin. And I just threw it in here in the food dehydrator overnight. And uh, at the end, they were pretty crunchy. So what I did next is crunched them up. Oh man, this makes me cough just thinking about it. I should have worn a dust mask because you couldn't see any dust coming off by just the vapors or whatever. It was real pungent. And <coughs> Sorry about that. It makes me cough. So, something important to do with the capsaicin is you don't want it, or the peppers, you don't want them to be ground up too smooth or else they'll get through the filter and they can clog up your siphon. Loading it is a pretty important step. I set it by the cold water coming in from the sink and returning into the sink on a hot water bath. It's completely autonomous. And here we go. It's about to cycle through. This is probably about halfway through the extraction. You can see that the liquid's getting a little bit yellowish. And by this time, about all of the capsaicin was extracted. And I stopped it shortly after this. It's really fun to watch. It took about 15 minutes per cycle, and I let it run for, I don't know, maybe 10 times. About two and a half hours. Alright, well this yielded a pretty pungent concentrated product, which I evaporated here on a hot plate. Kind of. And I evaporated it down to about, I don't know, 20 milliliters, and you can see that the capsaicin oil in the bottom there. But it was still, I didn't really like how it was because it was contaminated with a bunch of chlorophyll and other plant crap. So I tossed it into a separatory funnel and I added some petroleum ether. And a little bit of the capsaicin dissolved in that, but most of it remained in the capsaicin oil, which I poured off into one. You can see here, this first one contains a capsaicin oil, and the second one contains chlorophyll and other crap, and the petroleum ether. And this stuff was hot! It burned my mouth for 30 minutes with one drop, so thank you. 